everyone, my name is Arofe. Welcome to English Grammar 1 video. In this occasion, we are going to learn about the forms of others. So there are another, other, others, the other, and the others. Sounds a bit confusing, huh? Don't worry, it's not. Once you understand the concept of them, you will be able to use them correctly. The very first thing that you should remember is that all forms of others refer or point back to something that are already mentioned. Let me give you an example. I love the characters from the Avengers movie. There are Captain Steve Rogers, Thor, Hulk, Groot, and many more. Actually, my favorite character is Iron Man. Another character that I like is Doctor Strange. Well, there are many others that I like, but I can't mention them all here. You see, in those sentences, I use two forms of others. The first one is another and then others. Can you guess what makes them different? Now, you already got the idea that the form of others must refer to something that already mentioned. Let's see what makes them different. There are two main points that you should remember here. First, you have to know the number of the noun or object you are referring to. Is it singular or plural? After you know the number of that noun or object, find out whether they are specific or inspecific. You know the same requirement when you want to use the article the or a. Remember the number of the objects and whether the object is specific or unspecific. To make it easier to grasp, I will differentiate those forms of others based on the number of the object. Remember the number of the object first. So there will be some forms to refer to singular object and some to refer to plural objects. First, when you want to use the form of other for singular objects, you can use another and the other. Another means one more out of a group of similar items. It can be anyone or anything from the group mentioned before. It is actually a combination of an plus other written as one word. Use another to refer to unspecific singular object. Meanwhile, the other means the last one in a specific group. Remember, the only one that remains from a particular or specific group. You can use the other to refer to specific singular object. Here is an example referring to unspecific singular object. I baked some chocolate cookies this morning. I just finished eating one cookie. It was so delicious that I want to eat another cookie. There are many cookies left. Which one should I take? Because I used another in that sentence, I can't take any cookie that I want from there as long as the number that I take is one. For the same context, we can say, I want to eat another cookie. I want to eat another one. I want to eat another. In the first two sentences, another acts as adjectives in front of a noun, cookie and one. In the third sentence, another is used as a pronoun. That's why it is not followed by any noun. Now let's see an example for a specific singular object. There are two cookies left. 
I still want to eat one of them. I want to give the other cookie to my little sister. Now, you can see the difference. The word the other is used whenever the object you are referring to is only one and it's specific. That one particular cookie, there is no other cookie that you are referring to other than that cookie. So, the only one there. For the same context, we can also say, I want to give the other cookie to my little sister. I want to give the other one to my little sister. Or I want to give the other to my little sister. Same as before, in the first two sentences, the other acts as adjective in front of a noun, cookie and one. In the third sentence, the other is used as a pronoun. That's why it is not followed by any noun. It's time for a quiz. Use another or the other to complete the sentences. After you see the exercise, pause the video for a few seconds. How's it? Have you got your answer? Let's see the correct answer. So, number one, you should use another because there are two children left, Ron and Jeannie. But for number two, you should use the other or the other one or the other child because there is only Jeannie left from the group. Do you get the answer right? Great job. Okay, for the next part, we are going to discuss the forms of other for plural objects. For plural objects, you can use others for unspecific object and the others for specific objects. Others without the means several more out of a group of similar items. Since they are not specific, they can be any other objects from that particular group. Meanwhile, the others means the last or the remaining ones in a specific group. They are specific items left of the group. Let's see the example. I see many cookies there. There are some cookies in a white bowl. There are other cookies on a plate. There are also some others on the green bowl. As you can see on those sentences, the word other there is used to refer to some unspecific plural objects. Now let's see another variation of others. For the same context, you can also use there are other cookies on a plate, there are other ones on a plate, or there are others on a plate. In the first two sentences, other acts as adjectives in front of a noun. The noun are cookies and ones. In the third sentence, others is used as a pronoun. That's why it is not followed by any noun. Now, let's see an example for specific plural objects. There are five cookies on the table. I am taking one of them. I won't touch the other cookies. Now, you can't see the difference here. The word the others is used whenever the object you are referring to are the specific remaining objects of the group. For the same context, we can also say, I won't touch the other cookies, or I won't touch the other ones, or I won't touch the others. In the first two sentences, the other again acts as adjectives in front of a noun. For the third sentence, others is used as a pronoun. That's why it is not followed by 
any kind of noun. Now, another quiz. I want you to complete the sentences with other, others, the other, or the others. After you see the exercise, pause the video for a few seconds. How's it? Easy, right? Now let's see the correct answer. For number one, you have to use the word other because there are still two colors of the flower. But for number two, because it's only the last group left from that bouquet, you have to use whether the others or the other ones or the other flowers. So, do you get the answer right? Awesome! Now, let's combine our exercise from the materials we just discussed. Use either another, other, others, the other or the others. I want you to pause the video for a few seconds. Okay, let's see the correct answers. For number one, you should use others. Number two, you can use another. Number three, the other. Number four, others. And number five, other. Do you get them right? Awesome. Pretty easy, right? Okay, before we end this video, here's some review of what we have discussed today. First, all forms of others refer or point back to something already mentioned. Second, you just need to take a look at the number of the object and whether they are specific or unspecific. Here's a simple chart for you. I think that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with the exercises and see you in class.